is this is a fancy deal here. When I I when I ran I ran one for a while. Just a X Y Z point. I was doing a I was just milling it was little spacers. It was like a, something for a, a, um you know the the things they straighten car, cars with the frames. Yeah, frame straight. Yeah, it was a, like a little plate. But um. That's nice. <laughs> you crank it up. You crank it. You gotta crank it. Yeah, yeah. That's only a hundred thousandth of revolution. <laughs> not talking, we're not talking inches there. Only a hundred. So when I first started out in the machine shop back in 1980, I said, I gotta design something. I was taking a pull stop from a mini bike, right? <laughs> then when I was working here, I said, well, I'll just fucking mount one to a hand job. That wouldn't be a bad idea either, but you'd have to have one for each direction, right? Yeah, well, well, I turned it around, you know. Yeah, somehow, either way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I made that. And then I had some guy look up online to see if anybody had a machine like that. Yeah. And then I said, well, I'll just make one. And then I made 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 one. And then I out of aluminum yep. with that patent on it yep. to mount to a regular screw gun or a drill. I just made that four pick three pins to go up and down. Oh. You know? Yeah. And uh we were selling them for like thirty five bucks a piece online. So I said, Well, I can't patent it because somebody already got that. Yeah. Design, so. I think it they let you do the uh Anything that's been in, in business for so long, you can you can uh, apply to make like an upgrade to it. Oh, though. Yeah. yeah, you can. You can. Uh, it's like a, a, a. I forget what it is because a couple things, Dave. I like to patent. I, I you know I mean I was a hush hush. I want to tell anybody, but. You know, so, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got something I know would definitely sell too. It's just a matter of who do you talk to to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some people, well, you know. You gotta talk to somebody that's uh. That I don't think so. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I ran a I ran a screw machine for a little while. I worked over at um I don't know if you heard of Parent Tools. Yeah. They're, they're over in um Seacon. Oh yeah. And um they got a contract with NASA. And um so NASA makes you know on the spit well I don't they're not doing it now I don't know if they're still even doing that but at the time when I was with them um. What they would do was they'd had they would bring they would make these bolts you know they'd have guys running the machines either milling them or whatever else yeah. and they'd have somebody electroplate them anodize them and they'd color code them. Oh yeah. So if it was a red bolt or a green bolt or a blue bolt, then another person that was making the torque wrenches that they'd be set to 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever, and that color would correspond to the bolt. And every single freaking bolt, they would make a wrench for. They'd use it one time and they'd throw the freaking things away. Oh, yeah. No shit, man. That's what everything had. That was just their standard. You know what I mean? They knew that, you know, you you tested the whole lot out. You'd crank, crank them three, four, five times. Yep, it was perfect. And then that would go with that bolt, you know? But, 